So there are three kinds of bacterial illnesses. There's an infection, a toxin-mediated infection, and then there's a straight intoxication. Now, if you understand what causes each of these, there's a lot of other stuff that will flow naturally from knowing what causes it, okay? An infection is caused by a live pathogen. I'm going to say live germ here, right? A germ is, is, is a you know, bacteria, virus or something, but usually a pathogen, okay? When you have an infection, you have a live germ inside your body, right? Most, even most people on the street understand that. You go ask them, what's an infection? Oh, you got a germ in you, making you sick, right? Okay, an intoxication is caused by a toxin or poison that gets into your body. This can be a toxin from a man-made substance. It can be a toxin from a bacteria or from some bad fish or something. There are lots of toxins that we, we can get, but here we are going to focus on bacterial toxins. The TMI, or toxin-mediated infection, is where it gets a little complicated. A TMI is caused by a live germ that gets in your body and once it's inside your body produces a toxin. The key difference between the TMI and the intoxication is where is the toxin produced. If I'm eating a TMI, if I'm eating uh, something that's an intoxication like botulism, the botulism toxin is already in the food when I eat it, right? But for something like E. coli, that's a toxin-mediated infection, I eat the live germ, and when the live germ gets in my body, it produces a toxin inside my body, and that is what will produce the illness, the toxin that is formed inside my body. In this case, I have to eat a live germ. In this case, the germs can be killed. Does heat get rid of the toxin? No, actually we will discuss later. There is, or I think we may see this, but there is a way to get rid of botulism toxin boiling for 20 minutes. But I always put this forth to groups. If I gave you some food and said, there's some botulism toxin in there, boil it for 20 minutes, you'll be fine. You're not going to take that risk, right? Okay, so you could in theory, but nobody's going nobody's to put that to the test, right? Okay, so let me ask you this now. When you compare these illnesses, which of these is going to hit you the fastest? The intoxication, right? It's ready to go. You get it in your body, boom, it's, it's ready to go, okay? So this is usually going to hit you within a few hours. The infection in the TMI can take up to a couple of days, right? It, it depends, it depends on how much of a dose you get, how strong your immune system is, things like that. It's gonna take a little bit to, to hit you. So we're talking usually half day to two or three days. That's kind of a range. Okay, so I just say half day plus here. When you are trying to learn the onset times for these different illnesses, I would say don't, work, don't try and memorize this one is 8 to 14 hours. Drive yourself nuts doing that. Try and learn if it's relatively short or relatively long. That's what I try and focus on, okay? All right, another thing. When you get an infection, you, there's one symptom that is consistent that is regarded as, oh, the, if you have this, you probably have an infection. What is that? It's fever, right? If you have a fever, you've probably got an infection. 
So we got fever here. <laughs> Intoxication, are you going to get a fever? No fever. It's a new game show I've been trying to sell. Fever, no fever. It's not flying yet. All right. If I have a TMI, fever, no fever. What causes a fever? A live germ. Do you have a live germ? You do. So if you have a TMI, guess what? You're more likely to get a fever. Is it an absolute guarantee? No. But you're more likely to get a fever. See, all of this comes from what's causing the illness. Okay? Now, the final little trick I put here is trying to memorize which bacteria fall into which group. Okay, I'm going to kind of break this down a little bit for you. By the way, if I was a hip-hop DJ, I would be DJ Enzyme because I'm always breaking it down. <laughs> See? All right. So I saw that on the internet and I said, ah, oh, that's too good. I'm always breaking it down here. Okay, there are three intoxication bacteria that you need to know. Clostridium botulinum, Bacillus cereus, and Staph aureus. You can remember those with the acronym CBS, like the television network. Okay? The other group, TMI, has also three in there, and those are Clostridium perfringens, also Bacillus cereus. We will talk about the differences when we talk about Bacillus cereus, okay? And then the other one is E. coli. Officially, that is shiga toxin producing E. coli, right? Mm -hmm. But most people remember E. coli. So this one is CBE. The uh, way I remember that one, commander of the British Empire. It's actually a, right, a, a rank of knight. Commander James Bond is a CBE, a commander of the British Empire. So think of James Bond here. How do I know which ones are infections? They're not one of those. It's not one of these. That's exactly right. If you learn these six here, which is really only five, okay, but if you know these and you see it and you say, oh, it, well, it's not one of these two, guess what? It's an infection. 